sing to Jesus, is the scepter, he is the throne. Alleluia, he is the triumph, he is the victory. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, a special welcome to all of you today, all those who join us online from wherever you are, uh, all those who are in church too. Uh, it's, been, it's, it's been quite sunny this morning, well, it's a bit dull now, but nevertheless we'll try and brighten it up ourselves. Um, and obviously somebody doesn't like my singing very much, but we'll, make, we'll do our very, very best. I'm sorry we started a bit late, this technical, I will, if I start telling you about it, it just, gets, it just makes it even longer. But we, we make a start now and we, we come together. Special day also, of course, for Amelia and Martina and for Ambrose and Michelle this, who are making their first Holy Communions today. So as we come together to celebrate this Mass, let's call to mind our sins and ask God for his mercy and for his grace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We adore you. We glorify you. We thank you, thank you for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, O Lord, so that we, who believe that the Saviour of the human race is with you in glory, may experience, as he promised, until the end of the world, his abiding presence who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as we listen to our readings from Scripture. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand. I can see heaven thrown open, he said, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, all the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands. Then they all rushed at him, sent him out of the city and stoned him. 
the witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man called Saul. As they were stoning him, Stephen said in invocation, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and said aloud, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And with these words, he fell asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, the Lord is king most high above all the earth. The Lord is king most high above all the earth. The Lord is king, let earth rejoice, the many coastlands be glad. His throne is justice and right. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king most high above all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory, all you spirits worship him. The Lord is king, most high above all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king, most high above all the earth. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, hearing a voice speaking to me, very soon now I shall be with you again, bringing the reward to be given to every man according to what he deserves. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Happy are those who will have washed their robes clean so that they will have the right to feed on the tree of life and can come through the gates into the city. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to make these revelations to you for the sake of the churches. I am of David's line, the root of David and the bright star of the morning. The spirit and the bride say, come. Let everyone who listens answer, come. Then let all who are thirsty come. All who want it may have the water of life and have it free. The one who guarantees these revelations repeats his promise. I shall indeed be with you soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will be full of joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I've given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them and you in me. May they be so completely one that the world will realise that it was you who sent me and that I've loved them as much as you love me. Father, I want those you've given me to be with me where I am so that they may always see the glory you've given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world hasn't known you, but I have known you. And these have known that you sent me. I've made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you love me may be in them and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sit down, please. Well, I'm not going to make the candidates for First Order Communion uh, to perform in any way, but I would like, if you two girls would like to help me, could you come and help me? Just come and stand up here, I'll tell you what it's going to be. Just, just stand there and wait for a moment. This, this time of year, this week, in fact, on Thursday, it was uh, Ascension Day, 40 days after Easter, and we remember Jesus disappearing and going to be back with God in heaven and leaving his disciples to get on with things. And that's, that's difficult because the, the, the disciples, they had time with Jesus and he spoke to them and he taught them and he explained things to them and then he left them. 
And so when we hear the stories, and in this, what I just read there, it's Jesus getting them ready for that. He says, you know, I, I, I've been with the Father, now you have to be one, you have to follow me. So it's hard to think how we can understand things when we can't actually see Jesus. I want to do like a little, almost like an experiment here. Not an experiment in the sense I don't know what's going to happen, because I hope I do. But you can help me, it's this. Here I've got one or two things, let me see, let's see. So, I'll have to be careful. Here's a jar, right? And there's a spoon. Who wants to hold the spoon? The other one's got to hold the jar. Oh, there, yeah. I'll be careful with this. Now then, I'm going to put, I'm going to show you something now. smoke coming out of this. It's alright, it's not on fire. What's that? Do you know what this We don't use these very often, do we, nowadays? What is it? Do you know what it's a sugar cube, yes, a sugar cube. And there you go, and, it's, and you can see it's solid, it's hard, you could crunch it on your teeth. We're going to put it in the jar. The sugar cube's in the jar, we can see the sugar cube and we know what it is and we know it's there. It's very, very visible to us. I'm now going to put it, mix it with some water, right? And this is a bit warm. Do you want to stir the water for us, please? Make sure you get the sugar cube in there. I think there's other stuff in that jar. Now, what's happened to the... Yeah, how's that? Is it hot? Now, apart from the bit of a leaf in the bottom, it shouldn't be there. Where's the sugar cube gone? It's disappeared. So, so does that make, has that gone completely then? What, what, has anything changed? The sugar cube's disappeared, so what about the water? Pardon? It's the, has the water stayed the same? Or ha, has that water changed? Well, I'm not going to make you do it, but if I suppose were to ask you to taste this water, would it taste the same as before? Ah, no, no. Because now the sugar's dissolved into the water. Okay. Now you can go and sit back down now. Thank you very much. I never could have been a, 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 a magician and not a very good chemistry teacher either. But you've just, you've just seen something that's very, very obvious and you might think it was impossible. That there can be something there that we can't see and something that we can't touch. But we know it's there. And when we think about the ascension, Jesus disappearing from us, he's not disappeared from us to be gone forever. He's disappeared from being in one place so he can be in every place. The world has changed because Jesus rose into heaven and he calls us all to follow him. And so you who are making your First Communions are part of that. And you made your First Communions a long time ago a part of that. We are here to make Jesus present in the world by kindness, by compassion, by forgiveness, by doing things to help other people, what we call the works of mercy. That's what makes the world sweet. That's what puts flavour into it. That's what makes us know that God is there. And I know from talking to people, when we look at the world, I think particularly as we get older, but perhaps not just when we get older, we think, how can these terrible things happen? Why, is, why, is think, why do things go so wrong? Why can people be so wicked? Or It just seems so awful. We think of COVID, we think of Ukraine, we think of the cost of living crisis, all these sorts of things that adults talk about, and kids perhaps think about it themselves too. How can we believe in all this, in God in all this? But it's Jesus acts through us to put sweetness into the world, to give it flavour. He calls it at one time the salt of the earth, the light of the world, to bring goodness even when things are bad and difficult. So one step on that road for you for today is you're receiving Jesus in Holy Communion. Receiving him in your hands, receiving him in your bodies, receiving him into your hearts, 
so that you can bring him into other people's lives. And those of us who made our communions a long time ago can do the same too. We bring God's goodness, God's sweetness, God's love to other people, the world in which we live. Let's stand now and affirm together our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, our Lord told his apostles to stay in the city to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's call on him now that he will send the Spirit on us as we pray for the church and for the world. We pray for the Holy Church of God. May the Lord send the Spirit on all priests and all the faithful, that they may serve him and make his presence known in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for the peoples in Ukraine and throughout the world, afflicted by the terror and violence of war and driven from their homes into exile that the merciful and powerful Lord will come to their aid. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are making their first Holy Communions this month, that they may rejoice in the sacrament and be strengthened by receiving Christ and remain always firm in their faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pay, pray for the departed in Christ. May Christ, who has ascended to the heavens, Gather them all to himself. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. With Our Lady, we pray. Hail Mary. Full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us bring all our own intentions before the feet of the Father. Father, send your Spirit upon us that we may be the instruments of your love in the world. Strengthen us in your service and hear our prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Click now, sister. And in fact, that we could have sung that. We we'll click forward for that, please. We're not going to sing two hymns. It's my fault. I should have taken it out. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
I accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. And after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, Stephen his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Thomas More, with blessed John Sugar and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you, look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign 
forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer one another a sign of Christ. Peace be with you all. Peace with your sister. Peace with you, Becky. Peace to all those who are watching with us online too. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God of Christ, may it pass on my communion antiphon, Father, I pray that they may be one, as we also are one. Amen.
Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. One or two notices, do take a copy of the notice sheet with you and see what's happening in the coming week. We, we don't take a collection, if you're a visitor, you've noticed we don't take a collection during the Mass, uh, but the stewards at the back do take uh, collections in cash or envelopes if you've got them, if you want to. The, 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 the blue bag is for what we call the second collection, which obviously is a misnomer, but there we are. It's a second collection, and this week it's for a particular purpose in, in the diocese, in the country actually, it's for Catholic communications. So uh, you will, uh, you'll, if you put money in the blue bag, that's where it will go, unless it's in an envelope marked differently. Um, the uh, other notices, do have a quick look at those, I'll just very briefly run through. Information about the annual pilgrimage to Hensford on the 3rd. Um, the Darson Pilgrimage to Lourdes takes place this coming week and you can watch it online. They apparently have got live streaming, they call it Lourdes TV. I wonder where they got that idea from. <laughs> actually, actually they had it before us, to be, to be honest, to be fair. Um, if you've not taken a pound to multiply it and run through some fundraising, please do ask, we will sort that out. Um, and you'll see meeting the fundraising committee, which is anybody who wants to come, is tomorrow after Mass. Um, and the other things are, uh, are there. And mention particularly the Immaculate Heart Sisters celebrate 25 years in this country. Um, they came here just at the time that I was ordained to the priesthood, though it was, wasn't cause and effect, it's just a coincidence. Um, but I've always had an association with them, so very happy for them to, as they celebrate that anniversary. There's a raffle for um, their benevolence fund. Tickets are one pound per ticket, not one pound per book, one pound per ticket. If you got a book of tickets last week for a pound, you got a bargain. And what I've said to sister is that we, we will, as a parish, we'll make up the difference. But if you want to make up the difference yourself, and only you know who you are, that's obviously, that's not unwelcome, but we, we will do that so that they're not out of pocket. Um, if you want to go to the Mass, which the Archbishop is celebrating on July the 2nd, there will be a coach from uh, Glockswich, and it's £20 per person return on the coach. Uh, so um, you find out more from Sister, but just to let you know about that. And that, I think, is all the notices. Do the prayer sheets, the prayer intentions on the back, do please take those with you. And thank you for updating them. And last but not least, Amelia Martina, we can stand in the front again, please. And I'm not sure whether, whether Ambrose and Rochelle this are brave enough. No, they're not brave enough. But never mind, that doesn't matter. And we've got a little, a little uh, something to give you. You got it, Shirley. You brought it with you. <laughs> so Shirley will come forward now. Shirley prepared, has prepared the girls uh, over... How long? How long has she made you go on, on Zoom for? All those weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah? You don't, can't remember. It's just so long. This seems to have been almost forever. Oh, Rochelle, this is coming. Um, Ambrose is entitled to his anonymity, I think, because that's fair enough, isn't it? And so a little, a little something. Um, thinking of the water that changes the world, we have some holy water here, which you can use. It's not got any water in. <laughs> I'm not going to put sugar water in. No. Well, well, well there, there you are. We have got holy water at the back of the church. You can, you can fill it up from there. I don't know. I think we're supposed to do that. 
Uh, just can't get the staff these days, can we? And there you are. So that's to put holy water in. And we've also got, there's other things here. Yeah, one for your brother as well. Uh, you've got the names on. So now I, I, I can never remember which ones. Which, which was Amelia? There we are. And there's one or two things in there. There's some very holy chocolate. And I'm, is there a holy rosary in them? There's other things as well anyway. So God, God bless you. Bless the items in your bags. Bless all of you who've been here. It's lovely to welcome the families as well. You're very, very welcome. Let's stand now and ask God to bless all of us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take that to your brother as well, thank you. You can go back to your places. And we'll sing Immaculate Mary, but only two verses. Because when I said it was nine verses last week, people were alarmed. <laughs> Immaculate Mary. That title so wondrous fills all our desire. Amen.